So let's come up with another scenario because this is how things start to get a little convoluted. Because AMD is not only a manufacturer, they fulfill multiple roles in this chain. They are a supplier because they make just the GPU chips. So AMD supplies Sony, they supply Microsoft with their GPU chips for the Xbox and for the Sony PlayStation. And they also are a supplier of that GPU to what we call AIBs. And these are add-in board partners. Add-in board partners are manufacturers. AMD is a supplier of a GPU chip. They give that GPU chip to the AIB partners who are manufacturers and they create a product, AIB cards. So in this case, let's talk about, let's just use a scenario. AMD produces a GPU. PowerColor, who produces the Red Devil GPU, buys the GPU chip from AMD, who is fulfilling a supplier role. Power Color is the manufacturer. They take that chip and then they buy other components like memory from Micron or whoever, Samsung or whoever, and they assemble, Power Color assembles a GPU product. Say the Power Color, Power Color Red Devil um, GPU. And as a manufacturer, they get to set the MSRP. You remember M is manufacturer. So as a manufacturer, Power Color gets to set the MSRP for the Red Dragon or the uh, Red Devil graphics card. And they set that MSRP for the for you, the consumer, as a guy. And it's still this chain still flows. The retailer then sells that based off of what they think they should charge for you based on that MSRP. The next scenario is AMD themselves selling their own cards. AMD is the supplier because they make the GPU. AMD is also the manufacturer because they are taking their own chip and they are selling their own graphics card. So AMD gets to set the MSRP of their reference cards. They're called reference cards. Let's write that up there. Reference. The reference card is made by AMD when they are fulfilling the role of a manufacturer. And so what we see is that the reference card that's made by AMD that's the $650 price for the 6800 XT that we're seeing. That's AMD acting in the role of a manufacturer, setting the MSRP for their own manufactured card. All right, and so the culprit here, so this is just the basic setup. So the culprit here is the retailer and the AIB, okay? This is the root of the issue. The retailers and the AIB partners. This is where we're having our issue. The AIB partners, the power colors, the ASRocks, the guys that are manufacturing their own graphics cards, where AMD is only fulfilling the role as the supplier, these AIB partners, what it seems to be happening is they are setting their own MSRPs too high. Remember, the a MSRPs are only a guide. They are acting on their own and setting the guide too high. They are artificially creating a false guide for their products. This is not the fault of AMD because AMD has already sold the GPU 
to the AIB partners in the role of a supplier. This is solely on the ad and board partners falsifying their MSRPs as they fulfill the role of a, of a manufacturer. So that MSRP price is going through the chain and the retailers are looking at this MSRP and now they're like, all right, th we've got this MSRP that is like super high, $800 for this card. What are we supposed to do? We can sell it at that MSRP price of $800, but we're losing money because we have to pay correspondingly throughout this, this chain. So the retailers are like, we have to make money. So now we're going to, you know, sell it with our, you know, our uh, prices based on that MSRP. So the root of the problem is these ad and board partners falsifying the MSRP price of these cards too high. And it's messing up the supply chain where the retailers are now, they've you know, as a business, a retailer has to make money. But if that MSRP is inflated from the start, that retailer has no choice. But I mean, they do have a choice. But what traditionally happens is they're going to pass that cost on to you, the consumer. So the start of the problem is not AMD and the GPUs, unless AMD is charging more. But legally, they usually don't. They can't. Once they set the price for a product, it tends to stay the same throughout the chain. But that is where the, the debate needs to happen and the research needs to happen. The first question is, is AMD charging more as a supplier to these manufacturers for their GPU chips? Now, this can happen. This can happen. The prices of components can fluctuate. You as the consumer may not see it, but it can happen. They can change those prices, but usually there's a contract where those prices don't change. If they are contracted to, to sell, you know, 100,000 chips, then they must produce 100,000 chips at that contracted price. So as a retail, as a supplier, AMD is usually stuck for producing those chips at a set price. The manufacturer, the add-in board partners, the power colors, the ASRocks, the, um, you know, those guys that produce those GPUs with the cool coolers and the LED lights and all that stuff. This is where the flux can happen. They can falsely change the MSRP to inflate the price so that they make more money off of this cards. And this and if it, there's, there's a key indicator here, these AIB partners were waiting, right? We didn't know, they never announced the price of the cards. They were waiting to see what the demand was. And the man, demand was obviously pretty high for these cards. And so they falsified, they falsely raised the price of the MSRP. And that, that unbalanced this chain. Whereas the retailers then had to set a higher price. So this is where the discussion needs to happen. It needs to happen with the with the AIBs. It needs to happen with what the supply price was. It needs to happen with the manufacturers, the aid and board partners, why they set the MSRP so high. It needs to happen with the retailers as to why they are raising their prices. Okay, that's the discussion that needs to happen. Okay, so I kind of droned on. Hopefully folks understand what's happening here with the supply chain, what's happening with all of these different concepts and all these different players, but understand the basic concept before we start, you know, having these discussions and throwing out, you know, accusations here and there. We need to understand how everything's set up so we can have an informed discussion. Okay, that's all. I that's all I wanted to talk about. Uh, I know it's a mouthful and I kind of droned on, but hopefully that helps folks understand the basics. And now we can talk about what's really going on. All right. With that, I'm going to let the music play me out of here. <laughs>